There's something iconic about the American windmill. It's fun to look up at the windmill and watch it spin in circles as the cloud passed by. But there's also a less glamorous part, but the hard-working part, the windmill pump or windmill piston, that's located down in the well. Let's take a look down the well at what makes a windmill pump water. <music> There are two kind of pump cylinders that are down in the well in the water. The most common one is what we call a deep well cylinder or open top. It has a two inch pipe or larger that goes on it. And the big advantage of this is the piston that travels up and down inside the cylinder can be removed, pulled all the way up to the surface to change the leathers. You don't have to pull the drop pipe out to change leathers. It was a great invention and we'll go more into that. Now the other type is the closed top or shallow well cylinder. As you can see here when we pull the rod up, bang, it hits the top. Typically inch and a quarter pipe is the most common. So again if we have to change those leathers or do any service work on this we have to pull the cylinder and all the pipe out to get to those leathers. Closed top shallow well, open top, deep well cylinder. Now, shallow well, somewhere around that 50 foot mark. You really shouldn't use this if you're deeper than 50, maybe 60 feet, because it's a real hard day to pull all this out if you don't have the proper equipment. Now, if you have a big well rig and everything, it makes it a lot easier. In review, there are two types of windmill pump cylinders the deep well open top with two inch pipe or larger, and the shallow well or close top that uses inch and a quarter, sometimes inch and a half pipe, and is more difficult to service. The deep well cylinder is much heavier duty, both in its constructions and its durability. It'll last a long time. It's also much easier to service. The shallow well or closed top cylinder can be much more cost effective. It uses smaller drop pipe, but it is much more difficult to surface. It also doesn't have as tight seals or durability for high pressures that occur in deep wells. Thanks for watching and join us at TexasWindmill.com for more videos. Mm -hmm.